Greetings, internet dwellers, and welcome to episode number two. Ooh, gotta make sure it's in the camera. Woo! It's all backwards. It's crazy, this webcam stuff. Uh, episode number two of Alex Toast Medical Marijuana Logs. It's a pleasure to have you aboard. Today, some awesome stuff went down. It was the first night of uh, the 6th National Clinical Conference on Cannabis Therapeutics, and there was a reception uh, at 7 o'clock that uh, basically just got everyone together in the same room so everyone could kind of mingle with each other. Uh, I felt a little bit underqualified, if you if you want to say that. Uh, a lot of medical professionals there, uh, doctors, PhDs. Uh, it's a little bit uh, difficult uh, generating conversation with people like that because they they definitely know what they're talking about and they know way, way, way more than I do on this subject. I can't wait to hear some of them talk over the next couple of days. Uh, I did get a chance to talk with a number of people tonight, though, and it was awesome. Uh, got to talk with an editor of High Times. I forget his name, but he volunteered to do an interview on this series. So hopefully in the, in the next couple of days, I'll be able to spot his uh, striped shirt and striped tie. Uh, that's how I spotted him and started talking to him in the first place. I commented on his tie ensemble there. It's generally not very uh, uh, politically accepted to wear a striped shirt and striped tie together, but he pulled it off because he's a, an interesting guy. Uh, so I also met uh, Steph Scherer. She is uh, one of the directors of Americans for Safe Access. Let her know where I was from. Uh, she seemed a little bit out of her element at the time, uh, but that is quite all right. Uh, everyone has their fun times. And uh, so we're going to I'm going to chat with her a little bit more about the specifics of the different bill ideas that Americans for Safe Access wants to lay out. Uh, also uh, talked with a guy named Jehan, who is currently a student in Philadelphia. He's studying how uh, CB1 cannabinoid receptors work. Uh, he is actually interested in doing an interview as well. Uh, also spoke with, uh, let's see, earlier today I spoke with a man who is from Washington State, who is a caretaker for a group called Canacare. Uh, they provide to over 7,000 patients in the state of Washington. His home was raided, uh, and they took a bunch of things, including four of his computers. They never showed him a search warrant. Uh, actually, and everything he was doing was within the law in his eyes. So uh, he's trying to fight that currently. Uh, let's see, who else did I talk with tonight? Uh, there are was a guy named Bob who uh, distributes hemp products, uh, including hemp or hemp seed pretzels and uh, a brand of shoes that is purely hemp-based, clothing that's hemp-based, a uh, bunch of different t-shirts, crazy cool things like that. Uh, really cool guy. He is also probably going to do an interview uh, at some point here before I leave Rhode Island. Uh, I think that pretty well covers it for the people who I had extensive conversations with tonight. Oh no, I almost forgot Jacob, this guy who uh, is putting out this this magazine called CHNM. Uh, that's him right there. <laughs> uh, talked with him a little about, a bit about the magazine. It sounds like a wonderful thing. It's a free magazine. He's trying to get the word out. It's a magazine by patients for patients. Uh, feels like he caters to a market that isn't currently being catered to with some of the information he is displaying. Uh, talked with him about how he's an animator and thinks it'd be really cool to do an animation for some sort of a presentation uh, that has to do with like how cannabinoid receptors work and things like that. He seemed really interested in my idea of going from college to college and uh, doing different presentations. So hopefully I'll be working with him in the future. That will be a really good time if that happens. Uh, found out he's actually staying down the hallway from me. Uh, he's a medical patient. Uh, maybe he's why... Uh, the hallway stinking. I don't know. I'll have to talk to him about that. Ah, no, I don't know. Either way, medical patient, do what you got to do. Um, let's see. Uh, so that's that's that for the conference today. I'll have a lot more information about cannabis itself from the conference in the next couple of days when we actually have the different presentations from all the doctors and whatnot. Uh, but I uh, also thought I'd take some time to let you guys know about what's happening with the Jackie Rickert Medical Marijuana Act currently. Uh, it, uh, as in the past, is stuck in committee. Uh, it was written and uh, placed in a committee, and the committee had a public hearing on it in December, uh, and basically the bill was amended a couple days after the public hearing, and after the amendments were made, uh, there was, uh, well, basically it's stuck right now. The committee has to vote on the bill in order for it to go through. We only have until the 22nd of this month for it to happen, uh, so got to take some action quick. Call your senators, legislators, uh, let them know that you want this bill to be passed if that's what you feel is uh, something that would be good for the state. Um, so that's where that's at right now. Uh, hopefully this 
actually happens this year. A lot of patients really, really need this. So uh, take some time, call your legislator, find out who your representative is. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable talking with them in person, feeling that they might access what you say in one way or another and you feel like you're not prepared for that or something like that, uh, call them after hours. Leave a message for them. They're not there on the weekends. Uh, call them, leave a, a message. Uh, let them know that there are a lot of patients who really, really need this. Uh, now, uh, the moment you've all been waiting for, I know. What tie am I wearing today? Oh, it's the first day of the crazy ties. Ah! So, what tie am I wearing? I'll show you. It's this wonderfully cool tie. It's a uh, Bourbon Street New Orleans tie. Uh, let me get my fingers out of the way. Got got the signage there with a the big old dude with his uh, alcohol bottle there. Uh, I got this tie as a present for my godparents and and the fa their family as uh, for Christmas one year and. Uh, it's a really sweet, dandy-looking tie. I hope you guys like it. Ha ha ha. Uh, also, I've got my my cool little name tag from the 6th National Clinical Conference on Cannabis Therapeutics by Patients Out of Time. Uh, also got this cool, cool button here that's uh, kind of the same deal. It's a little, just kind of shows that I'm here legitimately, not just trying to sneak in. Ah! Oh boy, oh boy, this is quite, quite the exciting weekend so far, let me tell you guys. Uh, so, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to cut it there this time. Uh, look forward to interviewing some people here in the next few days uh, and showing you that. Also look forward to informing you guys of all the crazy cool cannabinoid and cannabis information that I will be filling my brain with in the next couple of days. Thanks a lot for staying tuned. This has been Alex Toast Medical Marijuana Logs, episode number two. Peace out, homies!